Remember when Mr. YG himself said that he was going to start his own reality TV show called Mix9 and he was going to scout different trainees from various companies and eventually put all the guys into one group and all of the girls into one group but towards the end he just dropped everything. So back in 2015 I was notified about this K-pop company that they wanted to start a mixed K-pop group and when I mean mix, I don't mean guys and girls. Well, an all-Asian guys and girls group. When I mean mix, I mean a mixed racial group. You can call it the pre-EXP edition. So on their Facebook page, they sent a link to their audition page. And on their audition page, you just put in your name, an audition video, email address, stuff like that. Now I think we had to wait maybe two weeks to a month and then the ones that passed would get notified. I was one of them. That was pretty much the first round just to apply and see if you pass. Now the second round, the ones that were notified by email, we were given tasks. And depending on what you applied for, you, you would be given different ones. So since I applied for dancing, I was given to learn the choreography for Ringalinga and Lucifer. But also I was given a task to sing two songs. One of them I forgot, but the other one was Bruno Mars. And I've said this before, my singing is not that good. But my rapping is a lot better than my singing. But they also said that if you're not a singer, you should go ahead and sing those songs, but also uh, turn in a rap video, which was optional. I did it anyway. So right after learning the choreography to Lucifer and Ringalinga, learning the two songs, and doing a rap video, I sent it to that company. And then we had to wait, I think, about a month or so. I think a month. So, once a month passed, we were notified again, just notified um, about if you passed or not. And I passed. So, I passed round two, hitting on a round three. Now, we just had to wait what else we had to do for round three. So, a month went by. And then another month went by. So, round two happened in June. We had to wait one month just to get notified. Now July hits, we got notified. One month later, it was August. No email, no Facebook post, nothing. Now it's fast forward, September hits, we get a Facebook post saying that the company lost their investors and that their investors didn't want them to do a mixed racial k-pop group because they were not confident in the group being successful and di and they didn't want to spend all their money on a group that could fail so the investors suggested that they do a traditional k-pop group with all asian members but the company did not want to do what the investors wanted them to do so they just dropped everything and I mean everything. It just dropped everything. I mean, f from my point of view, I was a little shocked, you know? Because you worked hard on everything and then suddenly someone drops everything. You know what I mean? And once I saw an article of Mr. YG himself just dropping Mix 9, you know, just those poor trainees, it reminded me of what I went through. It's like, man, that... That really sucks. Like I said, I mean, you work hard just to, you work hard just to get to the point where you want to be, and then suddenly it get, it just get drops. So yeah, that was my story. It's not much, but I thought it, it could be a little something that I can share. So anyway, if you guys like my story, give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.